Hey guys, so I have a question for you first. What do you think of my new backdrop thing? Like, I haven't actually finished it properly. But would this be suitable as background, do you think? Let me know if you like it. I wouldn't leave it like with my camera bags and my head is ugly. But I'd put in like nail things and nail polish to make it look all pretty. Alright, so moving on. Um, I have read Divergent recently and I loved it. And I'm going to see the movie soon, but I figured I'd get these up now before I do see the movie. Um, so I did one nail for each faction. So I've got Dauntless, I've got Erudite, I've got Candor, I've got Abnegation, and I've got Amity. I hope I pronounced those alright. I haven't actually, since I haven't seen the movie yet, I don't know how they pronounce it in real life. Um, but yeah, I hope you like them, and let me know what you think of Divergent too. Like, I loved it, but I love anything that's like dystopian reality, uh, war, terror, horrible stuff, because I'm like real screwed up apparently. So let me know, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. First paint all your nails white, then get some paper or plastic and put a blob of dark blue, medium blue, grey and white on it. Now blend all the colours together. I used an orange stick but you could also get away with using a bobby pin or anything else like that. Grab a makeup sponge or else you can even use a clean kitchen sponge and dab it into the polish. Then sponge different shades of the colours all over your nails. When you're doing this part, it's good to be in mind the colours that the symbols are going to be over the top. So abnegation, for example, is a grey symbol and that's going to be on the ring finger. So make sure that the background isn't too grey, otherwise you won't be able to see the symbol properly. And the same with the blue erudite symbol. Um, that's on the index finger, so try to put a bit more grey or darker colours in there. Otherwise it'll be quite hard to see it. I chose to remove all the polish from around my cuticles now, just because if I wait a bit longer it'll dry and be harder to get off. For each nail you have to do the same basic shape to start off with, which is a circle. So just make four white marks like I'm doing here, and then join them together with curved lines. After you've got the basic shape, you can go around and fill out the circle again to make sure it's nice and even and the right thickness. Use the white polish on all your fingers but your middle finger, which will be a black circle, as you can see here. I am painting the Dauntless symbol on my thumb. Make sure when you do this, when you're painting the flames on, start the brush from the very bottom and climb up. This way the polish will get thinner as you get towards the top and the flames will look more precise. Don't worry if it's not perfect, you can see here that my other hand is way different than this hand. And that's the base colour done. Next paint on the basic shape of erudite symbol, an eye. Then abnegation with the two hands, this is the hardest one. And then do a tree for amity. Make sure you do as small strokes as possible because this will make it look a lot better and more detailed. Now go back to the middle finger with some black polish and do the scales for candor. Now gently mix the edges of yellow and orange together. Use this polish mix and a small brush to colour in the dauntless flames and the circle around the outside. Make sure you get a good mix of both the yellow and the orange in there because it'll make it look way better. Make sure you work pretty fast here as the polish will dry pretty quickly. Next get some brown polish and with a really thin brush draw some stripes across the symbol. Of course, this is just optional, but I chose to do it because that's what the picture that I was getting inspiration for this design had on it. I'll link to the picture down below, by the way. Now we're going to start doing the blue erudite one. Using a dark blue and a light blue, start filling in the symbol. However, this time you have to be slightly more precise about where you put the colours. For example, here, I'm putting the darker blue around the outside of the eye, not the inside. So 
So line the eye with dark blue, then put medium blue on the inside. Add a light blue circle to the very middle. Then fill in the outside circle with some of these blues. Now we're going to add some more colours into it. Mix a dark blue and a black, and a light blue and a white. Just apply these colours wherever you want, but making sure you highlight the eyes in the lighter bits and add shadows in the darker bits. Don't forget to add a dark dot for the pupil. Now for abignation. Go over all the white with a grey. The next bit was quite hard, especially when I couldn't move my hands around to the position I wanted to, so I actually fixed it up um, off camera a little bit. But you can see roughly what I'm doing here. Grab a photo of the abignation symbol and that'll help you out with getting the hands in the right place. You'll see the finished version of this soon. And we'll move on to Amity. So just mix some red and some orange and do the same as you did for Dauntless. Done. That one's nice and simple. As you can see, Abignation is looking a bit better now, and now I'm just going to thin out the edges of the circles by putting some light blue and dark blue polishes around the outside. That's it for the design, now just clean off any excess polish with some nail polish remover and a cotton tip. Apply a top coat. And that's it! I hope you like these nails, and if you do, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share this tutorial with anyone else who loves Divergent, and see you later!